Venus, Earth's evil twin. Its clouds made of battery acid. At 900 degrees, its surface hot enough to melt lead. Venus is pretty much uh, like the, the, the biblical vision of hell today. This may be the most hostile real estate in the solar system. Yet billions of years ago, Venus looked a lot like Earth. But too near the sun, Venus was doomed. Earth blossomed, Venus burned. Yet even here, life may thrive. On June 9th, 2006, Venus Express discovers an eerie phenomenon. The spacecraft detects an intermittent disturbance that sounds like a whistle. This is the actual recording. To anyone else, baffling. But to the mission team, a revelation. The signature of lightning. Lightning is important because it's uh, something that produces exotic species. Uh, for example, a nitrogen and oxygen combined to produce uh, nitrogen and oxides, which are important for life and important for producing chemicals that can't be produced any other way in a planetary environment. But what kind of life could survive such conditions? Biologist Lynn Rothschild studies organisms that live in extreme environments. She has discovered microbes called extremophiles thriving in some of the harshest conditions on Earth. Like Yellowstone National Park, extremophiles like these can survive in battery acid and temperatures above boiling point. These organisms have evolved to survive not only the heat and the acid, but levels of other chemicals that would kill most life. If life can survive in Yellowstone, why not on Venus? Scientists believe the surface itself is too savage. Temperatures reach 900 degrees, and the pressure is bone crushing. But not in the clouds. 30 miles up, temperatures reach only 176 degrees much closer to the kind of heat microbes endure on Earth. Here, in the cooler acidic clouds, they could survive. But how can life exist without water? There is water vapor up in the clouds in Venus, and we have some indication that organisms on the Earth, for example, lichens, can use water vapor as their source of water. So that's pretty encouraging for life in the clouds, at least in terms of having water available. The clouds on Venus are continuous and long-lived, so you can imagine creatures that live in the clouds and reproduce in the clouds and even seed other cloud particles, and they're not going to last forever because they're going to fall out, but as long as they last long enough to reproduce themselves, then you could have a self-sustaining colony of life in the cloud. We may have to wait years for but someday, another mission to Venus may find the holy grail of space. Life beyond our world.